$552,000. I'm afraid I can't sell it to you for $552,000. How did it come together? You got $2,000 of gold in and of itself. I mean, first and foremost, I felt like Coors was an underrated, undervalued artist. We we're both working on this art piece. I did my half of the art, and uh, you gotta do your half of the art. You gotta give it the detail, and you gotta make it poppin', and we gotta make it a world-famous piece. What are we painting? I thought you had an idea. <laughs> I didn't have an idea just yet. We could do it biblical, we could do it hip-hop, cultural, we could do it historical, we could do a renaissance, we could do a little bit of everything. You could do the Temple of Solomon, you could do Jerusalem with Buster Rhymes' as Isaiah. I don't even know what to tell you, bro. You know, you could do anything you can imagine. You gotta make me and you. It's gonna be happening, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, it might pop off any second. Nico's a little shorter. It'd be popped off right there. Uh, the deal is just rolling out some gold. Okay, I'm uh, rolling this gold out. That's that gold bar from upstairs. How did it come together? I mean, first and foremost, I felt like Coors was an underrated, undervalued artist. This is a piece I personally bought from Coors Wavy right here. And then he, you know, he got this biggie piece right here as well. I mean, as an artist, Jackie Robinson, you know, I felt like I wanted to make an investment in the guy because I felt like his talent can be worth a lot, right? You know, right now these paintings are, you know, several thousand dollars. It's a bargain for me, I think. Maybe they could be worth 50 or 150 or, or more. And uh, myself, a little bit of an artist, I wanted to make an art piece with cores. And we did the MLK with gold, and then I had more gold, which I stretched out. Not that great, but it's alright. Is that all of it? Right? Crazy, right? Now let's show, we're gonna show um, uh, the phone, of course, Wavy coming. So that was the story. Then we got the artist, he's gonna use this foil to make a painting. So he's gonna go to another level. So we got, come on over here, man. Let's start with this right here, bro. With this relic right here that we saved from the fire. All right? You got the scroll in there. This is the real deal. You know what I'm saying? The Ten Commandments on the front. So you're going to represent the tribes, the 12 tribes. It might be a Benjamite. 12 tribes of the tribe of Benjamin. Boom. You ready? Right? This is an addition to your piece. It's just the beginning. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, this is 33 grams of pure 24 karat that you can use on another level. Right? You, we learned our lessons from the last um, uh, adventure. You know what I'm saying? And we made it even better and we're gonna do it even more pop-up. What are we painting? I thought you had an idea. <laughs> I didn't have an idea just yet. We gotta come up with something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, something iconic, but um, um, you're gonna have to brainstorm a little bit for, for what the inspiration is. As far as art, we are, you know, you wanna have pop culture, you wanna have culture, you wanna have history. Get into the art scene, get into the boxing scene, get into the fashion scene. The business scene. The Jackie Robinson, one of my favorite joints right here. This is from Coors. This is our boy Eddie did this one, okay? Um, Coors also got the Jay-Z with the Ace of Spades back there. And then I just got this, the newest piece that I just purchased. I'll show you this one. Big boy piece, you know what I'm saying? I think I copped this shit, like the, the brand. Okay, so that's a, it's, it's a deal. I have some fire, it's from the movie. Reservoir Dogs, never seen it? Oh, okay. yeah. Have some fire, yeah, so this is dope. My favorite pieces, the Nipsey, the Jay-Z, 
This one's cool with the pig, the Jackie Robinson. We've got um, uh, something really, really serious going down right now. So this is a chance for finally me and Coors Wavy to um, uh, shock the, uh, the art world and make an art piece that's gonna go viral. 33 grams, pure gold. And we have to, we just can't miss on the artwork. It has to come from the heart. That is going to be uh, just a handoff right here. I know how business is. You have to get to know somebody, and then you have to get the, a sense of them, trust, the expectation. I know what he's gonna perform doing his art piece. He knows that I'm serious about my, I'm not gonna call Coors and say, let's do this, and then it doesn't happen. It'll never happen like that. You already know what it is. These types of things are extremely critical and important in business, especially in the 21st century. We could communicate with one another. We could get vast amounts of Done. I'm doing an art piece over here. I'm gonna be doing a boxing over there. I'm gonna be doing this and I'm gonna be doing that and this and that. I'm doing business over here. Shout out to these guys. Yo, what's up, bro? Well, you know, I like the Renaissance era and you know, right. Michelangelo. I like all that stuff. Like so, that. I like and that's cool. that's a lot of gold, gold leaf and stuff in there. And this is the one that everyone's gonna have to see. So this one you're gonna have to work on super hard. You got two thousand dollars of gold in and of itself, or more than two grand, like uh, twenty two hundred or something like that. We could do it biblical. We could do it hip hop, cultural. We could do it historical. We could do a Renaissance. We could do a little bit of everything. You could do the Temple of Solomon. You could do Jerusalem with. Buster Rhymes is Isaiah. I don't even know what to tell you, bro. You know, you could do anything you can imagine. You gotta make me and you, right? You know, we're both working on this art piece. I did my half of the art, and uh, you gotta do your half of the art. And um, you gotta give it the detail, and you gotta make it poppin', and we gotta make it a world-famous piece. We could keep the conversation uh, with the ideas. We don't have to force an idea out of our minds right now. This is the book we gotta have up there, bro. Look at this, I'm about to cut this picture out and frame it, bro. You know what I'm saying? These Jesus pieces were made by hand, hand wax, not no 3D printer. This is just somebody carving Jesus by hand. And somehow, little did they know, it would be iconic for all time. I mean, this was back in the, this was on Canal, bro. This is us on Canal Jesus head where they put the little prongs on there. And This book has the stories, bro. Wu-Tang. The Rock, you know what I'm saying? This is also hand done right here. Look at this Bart Simpson right here. Look how cracky it is. Look at me Gucci oh, man's watch. This is when I was started in the business. Yeah, I mean, it was just a piece of wax. They carved it by hand. I mean, that could have been computer made, but it was all primitive stuff. Rick Ross wearing the Biggie Jesus. A bunch of other Jesus pieces. Yeah, he's bugging out. Pharrell with the Gucci link. So there's a lot to it. Cardi B, they got everything in here. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. You got the drips right here. Yeah, this is a crazy book right here, bro. Yeah, this is a crazy book. It's got something going on, but I can't I can't sleep on that biggie page. Yeah, this is a great gift. I don't even know who gave it to me, man. The AI collection, this is this guy right here. We're working on a piece right now. Uh, and, and AI. We're, we're generating um, uh, pieces with AI. Like, I design, how, how does it work? You just say like what design you want and then it... Yeah, it, that's dope. You know, the AI, just like any artist, has to guess what the hell the guy is talking about when he's asking for something. You know, how about a, a Legend of Zelda or a Legend of Zelda Link pendant in gold? So this didn't really do a Legend of Zelda, but it did, it tried. But this is something, just generated this. I mean, that should be enough to tell you what, what the potential is. I generated this ring. This was Leonardo da Vinci designs a lion head ring. Then I had Jay-Z design some shit for me too. You know what I'm saying? So inspired by Jay-Z, Balenciaga, he did a crown pendant by Balenciaga, but I'm, I'm working on some serious stuff that's gonna be on another level. And the model maker has to recreate it, but he at least he has a template. You know what I'm saying? So now he knows what the hell he needs to do. Like if you tell, a lion had Da Vinci ring to a model maker, he's not gonna know what the hell to do. He's gonna make something that's gonna be bull uh, But, but the, the pieces that I'm gonna be making are the ones that are gonna be opening up, transforming, designed on the front, designed on the back. I did this grizzly piece right here. We're making that in big. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm diving into the future and I'm taking this shit full speed ahead. And it's all working, it's all working out. It's all working good. A big day, it's a big day over here, huh? Another big day. 
It's Friday. You so get everything is good. You got everything you need. Yeah. 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 I'm rushing to get the f out of here and go home. Yeah. 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 Zoo in here, everybody's here. Hey, sir, how are you, man? Nice to meet you, nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. Fish took uh, awesome care of us. Yes, he's the man. It's, it's, I go stand behind you 100%, and that is a beautiful dial right there. That's what makes this pop. How's business today, bro? Business was good. Anything, anything we need that uh, we should have, or what do you think? Uh, uh, tennis chains, a few smaller ones for the ladies, 16 inches. All right, like well, that. make sure that that happens. Sure you could talk to happens. Mickey, or you just write down a list. Let's ask Alona to do it. Alona, so just um, uh, you know, talk to all the salespeople and start making a little list of all the things you guys would like to add as inventory to the shop. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll have that list ready so we know what to produce. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's going to be happening. It hasn't happened yet. Where's the boxing match at? Uh, it might pop off any second, anywhere, anytime. It ain't nothing sweet, baby. Ain't nothing sweet. Nico's a little shorter. It'd be popped off right there. I think it's 36 by 48. Like the Jackie Robinson? Yeah, the Jackie Robinson. So that way I could use it all you could use it as a mosaic i mean you know on the mlk piece you did the the, the piece i kept in the shop with the numbers mm. that was the best yeah that's another course wavy joint that's another gold piece you know what i'm saying you got the numbers and you paint it on top of the gold and the numbers are in gold they then you, yeah then on the on the uh, the one i gave to flossy the mlk his watch is in, is, is in the actual gold. The, the, on that MLK piece, the gold is super distinct, it's right in the center, and it's that one aspect of it that just you decided to make it all gold. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That was the one aspect of it that was concentrated in gold. You don't need to sprinkle it around or like something. use it in the painting. Yeah, you, it, uh, you know, I don't think that would be the best thing to do. It should be one aspect of the painting that is the gold. If you were doing Jackie Robinson, again, and he was, the, the whole baseball bat would be gold, and then everything else would be whatever. Gotcha. And that would kind of be like, if we, if we do, if this is gonna be something that's gonna go and it's gonna sell, or what have you, then that would be the theme. We do something, I'd provide the gold or whatever it is, and then, you know, Michael Jordan, and then the basketball is gold or what have you. But it could be, you know, I still don't know what it's gonna be. Well, that's better than the MLKs. You just gave me the gold and said MLK. Right, well, it worked <laughs> out great. <laughs> you know, say, it worked out great anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that worked out fantastic. Other than me, I got drunk and gave it a flossy. Salt and pepper with the ropes right here. I mean, this book has got it, bro. To see last year, and then we're gonna go back to 2016, when I started putting in those figures in this admin panel. I wanna see last year, see if we're, what progress we're making. May 1st to May 31st was 2.5 million. So we're almost doing, you know, 3.9, we're doing double. That's a much better business. Now let's go to 2016. So before we even look, what number do you think is, what number do you think is gonna be Jelani? No, for the month. Oh, for the month. Of May. Okay. Half a million. A half a million, right. So 612,000. 612,000 to today's 3.9. 612 to 3.9. Last year, 2.5. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't wanna go back to 2016, I'll tell you that much. The numbers, the games, the business, this is what we're doing here. This is what I'm doing, this is what I've been doing. Could have been at the, these figures way, way faster, but I made a lot of mistakes, which I'm helping you guys to avoid. You're watching on how we put this business together. We've got some amazing clients. It's, it's hard for me to even believe it because I've been in situations you can't even imagine. And in my mind, I'm still there. In my mind, I'm still in the trenches. I'm like a guy that's been in Vietnam. God, what's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant. God damn it, come. Let's see what's inside from the diamond dealers. Where is it from? Across the street. Diamonds. GIA certified. One, two certificates. This is how we receive our diamonds. All right, let's take a look at one. 1.5 carat GVS2, excellent, excellent. And the fluorescence is fluorescent. 
This is a beautiful cut right here. What's the best stone here? 1.70, 1.90, VS1, SI2, VS2, VS1. 1.7, 1.4, 1.7. I guess I'd pick this one. A 1.7 FVS1. Excellent, excellent. Radiant cut. Beautiful for an engagement ring. That's a very, very beautiful diamond. Natural. More diamonds? That's why we're in the diamond district. Well, let's do this. This is 154 carats of pears and 42 carats of emerald cut emeralds. All right. And let's take a look at what this is. The price, well, the wholesale price, as some people might know, is $552,000. I'm afraid I can't sell it to you for $552,000. You're going to have to give me at least 10% on top. But this is supposed to be made in a piece of jewelry. This is from Zambia, these emeralds. The set is called Wakanda Forever. And look at this monster-sized emerald in the center. You couldn't even imagine that this is even real. Natural emeralds. It takes a very long time and a, a whole mountainside to be able to put this thing and this set together. If you set this in 18 karat yellow gold with diamonds all around, you would have a necklace that would be once in a lifetime. I mean, I, I wish if somebody really wants to do this, a project like this to do properly, $800,000 at the minimum. This isn't where you bargain and this isn't, uh, you know, your piece at, I don't want to put anybody under the bus, but with any other jewelry shop. This is for big boys only. If you want to make a once in a lifetime piece, a once in a lifetime gift, $800,000 set. With diamonds around, you're gonna have something that no one has ever seen. That's something that we do here at Trax MIC. We've got a lot of crazy gemstone sets. So if you really want it, you can hit our team on live chat. We've got sets like this in Ruby and Sapphire, but this is my favorite one. And this is something that you will never see anywhere else. First time I hit, of course, Wavy and I told him I would make an art gold. You know, the f what are you talking about, bro? Like, how the hell am I gonna do that? Yeah, exactly. You gotta be open minded, though, bro. You gotta be open minded, and you know what I'm saying? But you stuck through it and you did it. You were you were happy with the final result, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I wish I had more gold. Yeah, exactly. And then we melted down Buster Rhymes' bracelet that he didn't, he wanted his logo on it, so we melted it down. And it came out with a bar just like this big, a pure gold. And I was like, this is perfect for me to roll out into sheets. And it was. And that was just the perfect timing. So you got the history of Buster Rhymes in there, you know, with a little story. Of course, Wavy, he didn't have to go to no art show in the Diamond District, but you went, did it. You were probably this close to not doing it, weren't you? You know, I ain't know nothing about it. Somebody sent it to me. Yeah, someone, you were like, ah, you know, that's the most dangerous time in your life when you're like, ah, do I really want to go here and do that? Sometimes you're right, sometimes you shouldn't go. But sometimes just the devil about to trick you because he doesn't want you to take that one little choice that's going to change the course of your life to, to something, uh, that's right, to something prosperous and better and this and that. And that kind of gives me the inspiration, you know what I'm saying? for this art piece, to be tested. Jesus was uh, fasting for 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. And the, but towards the end of that, the Satan came to him and said, you know, you're, you're the son of God, turn these uh, stones to bread. And he said, man shall not live off bread alone, but by the word of God, which is from Deuteronomy or so on and so forth. To be tested at that point in time is, is a very serious uh, spiritual thing and it's gonna happen to you and if you fail your test you're gonna go in the wrong direction and then you're gonna drag other people with you and all sorts of shit gonna happen but if you pass it and if you pass it you're gonna be able to do something and get a little bit closer and I'm, uh, I'm not here to fail I'm not here to get thrown back into where the f I was at and the show that I've experienced in life
Yeah. He surprised me with this joint. I mean, this is a lot of gold up there. Oh, the famous guy. From yes, this sir. How you doing, doing, sir? Now you got right. everything. Where's the Van Cleef? You, you don't even sell that shit. Uh, we got it. You got different colors? Yes. All solid gold chain? All bunch of different colors. You want to see them? Solid gold chain? Uh, yeah, I should, should have the solid gold. gold. Okay, you want something to match it? It's all so good. Right. So you're not interrupting. This is the whole point of it. You, you want something to match your bracelet? Yeah. All right, let me take you to the spot. He's got a case for you to show you. You're going to pull it out. See you checking in with them. Did you guys find what you're looking for? Yeah. You see, I didn't bullshit you bro we got to do it when people are not greedy and they're not jumping over one another business goes flow smooth so this is what it is now i'm going to be trying to go viral with this that a couple of a couple of moves away from an international f***ing jewelry company here bro a couple of moves away from an international jewelry brand just a couple of moves got to make a couple of more moves a couple of more products a couple of more ais a couple of more pieces a couple of more uh ideas a couple of more art a couple of more connections and um, uh, I'm able to pull off something that took me a long, long time. 17 years of struggling and one year of finally figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? And that's the crazy part about it. And you could avoid that whole 17 year and go straight to the pop off. That's the beauty of it. That's the glory of it. It's just a matter of waking up and realizing how the world really is. Some practical thinking, some good decisions, and you're on your way to do business. I'm here to just pop off and get successful and get going with this shit. That's exactly what the f is gonna go, go down from here on out.